In this video, I create an epic t-shirt graphic using the magic of AI and some techie Photoshop abilities. Let's go. So, starting off in mid-journey, you essentially begin your image generation by typing a descriptive prompt of whatever it is you're mm. looking for. So for this graphic, I'd like to create images within the theme of Medusa and ancient Greece. Therefore, we'll begin by typing a prompt such as Medusa with scary snakes upon her head, glowing evil eyes, seductive lips, evil demeanor, photorealistic on a black background. Now, as you can see, the images will start developing in real time in front of you, and once done, we'll have four options to choose from. So, here's our four images, and if we wanted to use any of these, then we'd simply just click the command button, which essentially expands the image into a high res JPEG. However, this is just an example, as I already have the images that I'd like to use, which I generated yesterday. So, for our Medusa, we'll be using this beauty here. Now, for the rest of this design, I wanted to portray a certain narrative. So, I thought about Medusa's powers of luring men into her will, only to be turned to stone. So, I came up with this descriptive prompt here, which was a man who has just looked at Medusa and been transformed to a statue, forever being stuck mid screen, photorealistic on a black background which resulted in this image. However, just one wasn't good enough, so I actually went back to the prompt and typed in an old man instead, which gave us a slightly different image. So already we have three different images we can use for our foreground in our graphic, and now it's just time to come up with a background. So I wanted to keep within the theme of ancient Greece, so I typed in a simple prompt, Temple of Athia, ancient Greek, hyper-realistic, 4K, black background, which resulted in this. So now we have all the image components to create a pretty epic looking graphic, it's now time to work a little bit more old school magic and take it into Photoshop. So, starting with an A3 background set to black, I started by importing my images into the composition I'd like, being mindful of my main focus being Medusa in the centre. Now I wanted to clean up the edges of this composition a little bit, so I used the soft erase brush with a hardness of 0 and slightly cleaned up the edges with a small brush stroke at a time. I then lowered the opacity of these two outside images, however it just darkened the saturation to achieve this effect instead. Now it's time for our background, so I imported our temple image and this cloud PNG in which I created this clipper mask, allowing the image to be framed nicely within the cloud. I use this technique quite a bit when trying to make sort of wispy backgrounds for my graphics. Then, using the blending options on my Bedusa, I added this colour overlay of a light blue, which will then change the blending to multiply adding this cool colour tone. I then applied the same colour tones to the outside characters and also adding this black outer glow and inner shadow of noise. This essentially just keeps the edges a little bit speckled, which helps for printing purposes further down the line. I then did the same effect with Medusa, however changed the outer glow to resemble this blue aura of light. Now for the background, I applied the same sort of colour tones, ensuring the image blends in with the rest of the graphic, conveying this eerie, almost ghostly presence depicting the colour of Medusa's icy heart. Now this next part really enhanced the narrative of the overall graphic. Using the pen tool, I outlined the shape of Medusa's eyes. in which I could then add a really cool outer glowing effect using the blending options. Now for those who don't know, Medusa in ancient Greek mythology possesses a fearsome power to turn men into stone with a single gaze from her eyes. I wanted to capture this within the image's story, so I used an array of blending options to create this effect and replicate a similar process on the other character's eyes. At first I used the actual shape of the man's eye, similar to Medusa, but I just didn't really find it striking enough. Then gave me the idea of Medusa actually completely emptying her victim's eyes, creating this hollow sort of crater effect within the eye sockets. So to do this, I just used a round brush tool and dabbed the effect instead. I think this effect ended up looking pretty cool. Now I'm pretty happy with the overall graphic and composition, so it's time to add our type elements. Because I was designing this graphic with the intention of selling the editable artwork to a brand, I simply typed your brand in this font named Quincy. And then for my second type element, I typed the story of the snake head Gorgon, staying within the theme of Medusa. Now to set the scene a little bit more, I added these lightning PNGs, which would really nicely frame the text, as well as add to the graphics evil and intense aesthetic. I then added the text of Medusa at the bottom for obvious reasons. Right then, it's time for our second assist with AI. So we're going to use ChatGPT. Now if you guys aren't already aware of what ChatGPT is, you essentially just type prompts similar to Midjourney, however the program then responds in text. So it's perfect for things like character descriptions, stories, and overall just finding factual information. But as a designer, we're going to be using this to describe the looks and powers of Medusa. So type in this prompt, write me a small description of Medusa from ancient Greece using descriptive words of her appearance and ability to learn men. We've been given all this descriptive text within seconds. Now I like the idea of using this bottom section of text, so we're just going to go ahead and copy this straight into our graphic. Now I had my text just how I wanted, I added this small finishing touch of a circle around my type just for aesthetic purposes. Then also just adding this small space filler shape to end the text off nicely, 
Then my final finishing touches were these small star vectors just for a little polish to our graphic. And there you go guys, that is how I use AI to help assist within my creative process when designing t-shirt graphics. For those of you who might be interested in purchasing this graphic and the editable artwork, you now can do so on my website, the link is in the description below. And if you guys could head over to my Instagram, that would very much be appreciated. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one in a bit.